Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so in the middle of one of my, basically my Tyro builds that I have going on, uh, one thing that I noticed um, that I was having issues with uh, going into, let's see, as I'm recording this video, it's February 2021. Um, but one of the things I wanted to make mention is that when I got these uh, new FR Sky, not new, but the, the newer release XM Plus receivers, um, because FR Sky has been coming up with, sorry, my batteries charging here uh, FR Sky has been coming up with a lot of new updates so with these if you'll notice right here uh, see if I can make a zoom in it's shipping with version 2.1.x when you look into it um, it's basically the, the their newest version uh, since they're shipping out everything with the Archer and uh, that's pretty much their new protocol they're using and because I'm not using an FR Sky transmitter what I have to do is I have to go in, sorry about the beeping, like I said, I'm a stupid charger. Um, what you have to do is you have to actually go in and change this. You have to go into the download page, and I'll go into that uh, on FR Sky's website. You're going to have to download and flash this with the older version. Um, because it's not an OTA, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the uh, Radio Master as well. Uh, now, one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to modify one of these, uh, which is your, I forget what kind of, it's, like, it's almost like a servo connector. You know what, I'm just going to stop this. This thing's pissing me off. All right, so we're going to pull this off. All right. Sorry, I got like 400 things going on at once here. Uh, you're going to have to take one of these servo connectors. You're going to have to modify it for the Radio Master. So on this one, uh, let me see if I can find one that you're going to get. Original. Switch cables here. So an original one you're going to get is going to have be in this order. It's going to be ground, power, and then your uh, basically your data cable. For the Radio Master, you're going to want to run it power, ground, video. You're just basically swapping out... Uh, your your power and your ground leads uh, and I'm gonna show you guys that uh, why I do that in just a minute all right sorry about that I'm back so because I'm running this radio here what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take off the back piece here and you're gonna have your pins here which is basically for your module bay what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna take now I'm all confused which one I use because this one I have not used so the one that you've modified and you've changed it up, you've swapped out the ground and the power lead. To flash it, you're going to solder this up. So this is an, actually an XM Plus that's bad because I shipped it with a, looks like it had a, a fed on there that blew. Uh, I didn't even hook this one up. It just kept giving me issues, and there's not it's missing there. So I don't know if it broke up. It wasn't in the package, so... I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, basically, when you, I've had, I've, I've dealt with multiple times of these, uh, basically hooking these up. This was last year, late uh, 2020. Um, had XM pluses, uh, RXSRs, putting in the drones. Uh, didn't have an issue, but now they're shipping with this new software. Um, so you're basically gonna hook this up. You know, your ground, your five volt, and your uh, uh, S bus. What, what's gonna be on this? So, when you hook it up into the radio, and I'll show you guys where to put get the firmware to access it, and most of you guys should already know, you're going to hook this up, and in the back here, if you can see those pins, you're going to run the yellow one all the way down on the bottom, ground, and then your 5 volt on your radio. And that will allow you to flash the external module with the uh, newer uh, firmware. So the issue that I was having that I noticed right off the bat was when I'd hooked it up to the flight controller and I was trying to bind, uh, and I didn't notice this right away. Um, kind of took me a while to find out what was going on. But when you hook it up and you're trying to bind uh, your radio into D16, what's going to happen is your lights on here, uh, you're going to have, you, on this one you only have two LEDs. You have your green and your red. When you have it hooked up to power and you're in bind mode, what's going on is this red light on here is just going to randomly, sporadically flash. It's not going to have anything. Uh, it's not going to. It's not going to be in a sequence. It's going to be random. So it's going to be like whenever. It's just going to be red, 
right? And it can blink at whatever pace. That's telling you that the firmware that your radio has uh, on here is not ca is not capable. Now my my radio master is already up to date. As of right now, it's on two dot whatever it is dot eleven. So it's it has the newest radio uh, firmware, uh, and that's through Radio Master. Got it from their website as well as uh, uh, through OpenTX. So if that thing starts flashing, just backdate it, and I'll show you guys where to access that firmware on FR Sky's website, and then you guys will be good to go. So um, yeah, uh, and then when you go into bind mode, uh, also both your this is what I was trying to do initially when you hold on the bind button and power it up you're gonna have both your green and your red and then your red will start flashing uh, when it's bound uh, it's just gonna sit red and green and then if you hit the button it's, it's gonna blink green once or twice and then it'll just continue flashingly flashing random red um, so yeah that's the quick fix for these um, that are shipping out with the 2.1. whatever version so uh, let me know if this helps um, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys have any questions. I'll be here.